हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आरपीआईटी मेडिकल कैंपस दिस इज डॉक्टर प्रियंका चौहान वर्किंग एज ए असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन फिजियोथेरेपी डिपार्टमेंट टुडे द टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज कॉमन कैरोटिड आर्थरी लेट्स स्टार्ट फ्रॉम द बेसिक एज यू नो दैट द एटा अराइज फ्रॉम द लेफ्ट वेंट्रिकल एंड दिस इज द आर्च ऑफ एटा एंड दिस इज डिसेंडिंग एटा नाउ as we all know that here diaphragm is present imagine this is diaphragm and the descending aorta above this diaphragm is known as a thoracic aorta and below this diaphragm it is known as abdominal descending aorta now let's see here here if i divide this arch of aorta into two parts right side and left side here from the right side this is the here from here this trunk is arising which is further divided into two parts one is going to the brachial region and one into the cephalic region here if you can see that here the arch of aorta is going here like that and the trunk which gives the two branches one going to the hand and one going to the head now this is going to the brachial region and this is to the cephalic region therefore it is known as brachiocephalic trunk now the brachiocephalic trunk gives the two branches one is this as it going to the brachial region and it is known as a subclavian artery because it lies below the clavicle here this is sternum sternum is present here and this is the clavicle on both side the clavicle uh, i have drawn this clavicle with a dotted black lines so and the other one is known as a common carotid artery the topic today's topic is common carotid artery so this is the right side common carotid artery this is right side subclavian artery which is further later on name as brachial artery now you can see on left side left side there is brachiocephalic trunk is not present here the left common carotid and left subclavian artery directly arising from the arch of aorta so on the right side we have brachiocephalic trunk which further give rise to the subclavian and common carotid artery and on left side we have left side common carotid artery and the left subclavian artery so we have two common carotid artery on either side both have the different origin one arising from the brachiocephalic trunk and one arising from the direct from the arch of aorta after their origin when they ascend into the neck behind the sternoclavicular joint here this is sternum and this is clavicle and here sternoclavicular joint they have the same course now in the neck they ascend upward and here we have a muscle sternocleidomastoid muscle so this muscles coming from the mastoid process to the sternum and these both arteries on either side passes deep to the interior border of this sternocleidomastoid muscle and enclosed in the carotid sheath now in the center we have a trachea this is trachea and in front of trachea we have this butterfly like thyroid gland and above this we have a cricoid cartilage this is cricoid cartilage and above that we have the thyroid cartilage now at the level of the thyroid cartilage this common carotid artery divide into internal and external carotid artery this is internal carotid artery and this is external carotid artery now why these arteries are called as internal and external carotid artery as the internal ar carotid artery goes into direct into the brain and supply the brain therefore it is called as internal carotid artery and the external carotid artery does not enter the skull cavity and this is all about the common carotid artery i hope this video will be helpful for you please like the video and subscribe the channel that is rpit academics thank you